Praise God Church. My name is Clara Wangari. Um, I'm from Bethany District. I'm here to say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born by the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the inspiration of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Good morning, children. Amen. I hope you are all happy at home. I hope you are safe. Are you still keeping safe? Yes. Are you washing your hearts? Yes. Yeah, keep washing your hearts. Keep distance and avoid clouded places so that we can fight coronavirus. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's play. Our Father and our God, this morning we come before you. We thank you, God, for the good health you have given unto us, Jehovah. We thank you, God, for the precious time, God, you have gifted, gifted us with Jehovah. Oh, Lord, we pray, God, as we go through our teaching today, may you intervene, Jehovah. May you bless us, Jehovah, and may you, God, help us to learn something new, Jehovah. Be together with us and guide us. In everything, God, we pray and trust. Amen. Amen. Okay, are you happy? Yes. Yeah, even me, I'm happy. I'm Tisha Kalo. And today, I want us to learn about something so common, but I want us to get a very different meaning. I want us to learn about the word thank you. Can you say the word thank you? The word. Yeah, the word thank you is a very common word. But our, the word thank you can have an impact to the person who you are saying thank you to, okay? Yes. Yeah, anytime you say the word thank you, it shows that you are appreciative. You say that you are? Appreciate. Yeah, it's good to appreciate. Anytime a person gives you something, you should learn how to say Learn how to say thank you all the time. Also, when we pray, we usually pray hard. We pray to God, God, may you give us this. And if after God giving us that thing, we should remember to say thank you. Yes, let us any time, at all time, let us all remember to say thank you. Thank you. Even to our parent at home, like, let's say you have told your dad, Dad, can you give me this? Mom, when you go to job, bring for me something that I can, uh, something like snacks. Now, when mom does that, you should make sure you say, Thank you. Yeah, you know when you say thank you to a person, even the person you are telling thank you, he or she feels appreciated. And also he feels that you are so grateful. Because most of the time, we tend to, to forget to say thank you. We tend to forget to say Thank you. Yeah, sometimes you are given something, you just ignore to say? Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes we pray to God, God, can you give us this? God, can you do this? And after God doing that, we forget to say? Thank you. And that one is not a good thing. Always remember to say? Thank you. Thank you. I want to agree to read for us a verse so that we can get a very deep meaning of saying thank you and how we should not forget to say thank you. Okay, Kalala. Praise God. Today's verse comes from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. It says, as Jesus made his way to Jerusalem, he went along a border between Samaria and Galilee. He was going into a village when he was met by, by 10 men suffering from a dreaded disease. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. Jesus saw them and said to them, on the way... And say to them, go and let the priest examine you. On the way they were made clean. When when one of, one of them saw that they were healed, he came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself into, into the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. Jesus was... Jesus, Jesus said, where are the other nine? Where are the other nine? Why is this the only man who came back to say thank you to God? And Jesus said to the, him, get up and go. Your faith has made you well. Okay, have you, have you understood the, the story? 
Yes. Yes, we have run about the ten lepers. Why were they called lepers? Because they had a very, very bad disease called leprosy. Called? Leprosy. You know, leprosy is a very scaling disease. Yeah? When you get that disease, sometimes you, you, you wake up, you see that you don't have the, your legs. Sometimes you wake up, it destroys your, your heart. You will get the wood that usually smells so bad. Yeah? So leprosy is a very bad disease. So those 10 men, they had that disease. And one day they had that Jesus is passing by. And they said, let's do this. Let's go to Jesus and talk to Jesus so that he can heal us this disease. Because people are laughing at them. People could not laugh at them. When they get near a person, a person could say, we go away, you are smelling so bad. So they were feeling so bad. Now when they hear that Jesus was passing by, they say, let's go to Jesus and tell Jesus to heal us. And then they went to Jesus. When Jesus saw them, he asked them, what's, what's your problem? And the ten leper said, we are sick. We have a very bad disease. And Jesus told them, can you do this? Go to your priest and tell him all your problems. They did the same. They went and told the priest, Oh, we are, we are suffering. We have a very bad disease called leprosy. And then the priest told them, Okay, from today, can you just go? And you are healed. Wow, they were so happy. They get healed. Did they get? Healed. Yeah, they get healed. Now, after they, they get healed, they did not remember to say thank you. They just ran away. They walked away. But as they were walking away, one of them said, well, I did forget about something. I did not say thank you. I did not say? Thank you. Then he decided and said, let me go back to Jesus and tell Jesus, thank you. Why? Because he has healed me a very bad? Yeah, out of 10. You heard that there were 10. But only one of them went back and said, thank you. Thank you. Now when Jesus saw him and asked him, well, you are the only one who came back to say thank you. Where are the other, the other nine? He said, me, I don't know. The other nine had gone and they forget that they were sick and they forget that they were supposed to say? Thank you. Yeah, they were supposed to say thank you. Is, it, is that a good thing? No. no, you should remember to say? Thank you. Thank you. Even us, right now, there is a bad disease in our country, in the world. The disease is called? Yeah, it's called coronavirus. Right now, most of the people are praying to God. God, can you heal this? Can you heal us? God, we want, we want this corona to go. We don't want this corona. We cannot go to school. We cannot go to church. We cannot visit our friends. But can I ask you something? After this corona, we, we get finished. Right? After, we, after the corona, after God will heal us about the corona, we do remember to say thank you. We do remember to say thank you. Can you ask yourself at home, when corona will become a past tense, when we, we will no longer have corona in our country, even in our world, when we go back to school, when you go back to, your, to visit your friends, you go back to visit your grandma, will you remember to say thank you to God? Okay. My hope is that you just remember to say thank you. And also you remind your parent to say Thank you. Yeah, that time you tell your parents, Mom, can we do this? You know, there's no more corona. So, Mom, let's just say thank you to God. He has done so much for us. He has done so much for us. Yeah, let's remember to say thank, thank you. So, I want the word thank you to become a habit, to become a... Yeah, any time, any time you pray to God, God answers your prayer. Remember to say... Thank you. Anytime you get even a very small thing from a person, remember to say thank you. Remember to say? Thank you. Yeah, because even when you say thank you, if the people are happy, when you tell people, thank you, you have done for me this one, I say thank you. So, are the other people you become? Happy. You become? Happy. Yeah, let us be appreciative. Let us be grateful. When we get anything, we say? Yeah, even to our God, always remember to say thank you. Even when you wake up in the morning, let's say you are sleeping, then you wake up in the morning, you stretch yourself, you can't be able to see again. 
the first thing you should do is to say, Thanks. Thank you, God, because I have waken up so well. I'm not sick. I'm, not, I'm in good health. Are you say, Thank you, God. Will you make the word thank you become our habit? Yes, that's the word, thank you, become our habit. God bless you and do you good. And I have a tongue. Baby, that's a love. We will name Cody. We will name Cody. Every day, every day. My name is Sopwanja Kamani and I'm going to pray. Let's pray. Oh God, you have protected us very much, God. You have hit us very much, God. You protect you. We can be very fine, God. Protect us all. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I have a verse. Proverbs 9 verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom.